My pick. Yeah, what's your pick? Who you got? I'm going to go. You know where I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go down to South Florida. Now you better not say Josh Rosen. Nah, I, I felt like Josh Rosen, he did okay due to the situation that he was put in because I agree with you. I I can't stand the preseason. That's why it was <laughs> difficult for me to watch that first Bobby Dolphins preseason game, and especially the first couple of plays. I was like, oh, the offensive line is still the same. Uh, not protected the quarterback mm-hmm. and Fitz Fitzpatrick. He had to step up in the pocket a couple of times. He scrambled a little bit, but the offensive line most definitely needed needs some work. It was the offensive line definitely needs some work. So hopefully, within the next couple of days, they end up making a call to bring in a veteran offensive lineman because this offensive line is not going to keep either Josh Rosen or Ryan Fitzpatrick upright. But I felt like Ryan Fitz, I mean, excuse me, Josh Rosen, he actually played pretty well with that terrible offensive line. But that's not my top performer so far. My top performer is Preston Williams. That boy, that's a bad boy, Vix. That's a bad boy. And, like, it's difficult. It's going to be difficult for me to decide. Well, for the Miami Dolphins to decide what wide receivers they're going to actually keep on the roster because obviously you know Kenny Stills, Devontae Parker, Albert Wilson, he's coming back from injury, Jakeem Grant, and then they signed Alan Hearns, they still have Bryce Butler, and then you have the, the rise of Preston Williams who had over 100 yards receiving and had a couple of, couple of nice catches, had one, one nice one-handed catch too as well. Uh, right. The Bobby Dolphins receiver core is very, very deep. It's deep. It's really deep. But Preston Williams, most definitely, that's going to be my top performer so far because I'm looking forward to. I'm going to be looking forward to watching him uh, for the next couple of preseason games. Hopefully, Josh Rosen will make me a believer in making him the, that next top performer. But so far, it's going to be Preston Williams. All right. Yeah, Preston Williams is a good. Decent player in, in college. He was okay. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, I think he played for Colorado State. Um, yep, Colorado State got dismissed yeah. due to, I believe he it was a it was some some regulation code where he transferred from a different school, and I believe you have to sit out like that 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 one year, and then you're able mm-hmm. to be eligible for the next year. And at that time, it was mm-hmm. time for him to be eligible for the draft. So unfortunately he went undrafted. Luckily he just fell into the Miami Dolphins lap bloop. And right. it may be possible that he could possibly be the number number two receiver due to the other issues that are going on in Miami with Kenny Stills. Hey, but let me say this real quick before you before you get into that. Let me let me say this because I would agree. Uh Preston Williams definitely looks like he's gonna be okay. Um I didn't know he was that big. Six four two ten. Like yes. that boy like that boy big, man. Six six four, two hundred and ten pounds. That's okay. a bad he ran a boy. Four five three for what I see. Yeah, four five three. That's a 40. bad boy. He's respectable. He can get separation. I mean That's, that's a that's bad a, boy. Uh, I'm playing with him in Madden oh. right now. I'm on my second year. He got an eighty two overall. That's a bad boy. Yeah. We'll see. 